In the great state of Texas lies the city of Hearst, a municipality with a population of 38,448. Protecting the city is a police force of 75. Within this force of 75 officers, there is one man who goes well beyond the call of duty. Hi, I'm Officer Jimenez. I've been with the Hearst Police Department for uh, eight years now. Uh, I currently work patrol, but in patrol I also have other responsibilities. I also work as a crime scene officer, uh, PTO, which is a police training officer. Um, I also uh, work with the Homeland Security Task Force uh, in relation to uh, prison gangs and members who are who get out of prison and still uh, do things that are not very nice. What made me want to become a police officer is uh, when I was in the military, I was a military police officer for three years. And I saw the, uh, the effect that we had on people, uh, the good side of course, and kids, and the amount of kids that uh, lives I could touch while I was doing that job in such a small scope. So if I had to sum it all up, it would be to make a difference. I put on this uniform and I wear this badge uh, for one, for, for God. Uh, I believe uh, He wants me to be a good person and He expects me to be a good person. And I believe this is just one way to do that. And uh, of course it's for my family, it's for other families. Uh, and like I said, make a difference and make, hopefully make it a safer place and a better place as, uh, as my kids get older and other people's kids get older. Since he's come around and been on property, basically, you know, he's always helping the resident and the tenants. Uh, anywhere from a resident needing furniture, food, uh, it's a wide, broad area. Like, you know, like he's on Christmas, he's brought me brought toys, he's donated money to the clubhouse from, you know, other programs. He's been very, very influential on the tenants. I would really like to thank you for this opportunity. I don't know how many people this will reach, or how many of the people will see this, but I hope when they see this, they understand that police officers, we have a very difficult job. It's a thankless job at times. We see many things on a daily basis that most will never see in their lifetime. Again, we see people at the lowest point, and we see people at their highest point. Uh, and that can be anything from you know, graduation from high school, college, you know, awarded a scholarship, and then from the lowest point where they're wanting to commit suicide. And, you know, they, they run away, you know, uh, someone in their family passes through a traffic accident, or some unforeseen uh, catastrophic incident. And, um, if anything, I would just like them to know that that we're people too. We're not perfect. We never, we never say we are because no one's perfect. We do the best job we can. Like I said, we do a very dangerous job, but at the same time, we do a job where we're allowed to affect a lot of people in good ways. And every officer I work with here at this department. Uh, has shown me that, and that's why I have I have a lot of pride, take a lot of pride in what I do and who I work for, because it's provided me that opportunity to show people that side, of me, or show that side of our department, because we do care. You know, we all love chasing the bad guy, catching the bad guy. You know, it's a game we all played when we were children. You know, from freeze tag to cops and robbers to cowboys and Indians, but out here actually doing a job that's similar to that. Uh, it's a lot more dangerous, um, but fun. Because I, because I, I feel like there's, a, there's an end to it, there's a purpose to that. Getting that bad person off the street who tends to hurt other people or wants to hurt other people or takes things that they've worked really hard for. You know, and I believe that uh, we go out there every day and we do our job and there's things we do that but we may not like, sometimes we have to do these things. But what I do know is I believe in what we do.